with Marcus Fuller. Marcus, start us off, please. Coach, it was all Kofi tonight, but Robbins, uh, you know, he started off strong and then he got into foul trouble, just went downhill from there. For sure. Yeah, I mean, we needed him on the court. Um, and Kofi does that to you. You know, he puts you in foul pressure, um, you know, foul trouble, and then you, 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 you have to sub, and it's just hard. Um, unfortunately, we weren't able to put him in foul trouble. You know, he's got a tendency to do that like most big guys do. And, uh, you know, so that was the challenge there. He was terrific. He was catching it so deep. It was hard to help. It was hard to trap uh, because he was going quick. So uh, we weren't great all around, and they were really, really good as well. Andy Greeter, over to you now. Richard, after that hot start, uh, you guys went cold from the field. What did you attribute that to? Was it lack, lack of good shots? Was it just not going in? How did you feel about that? I didn't think we were taking bad shots, but I thought we had to do a better job of adjusting throughout the course of the game. We, we, it definitely felt like we were getting three happy, um, and we needed to be able to get into the lane and maybe not even you know shoot a layup, but kick it out to somebody else create a scramble that that's where we really got to get better. It's just our offensive flow is not great. And they've got so much speed and talent that, you know, if you take long shots, you don't get offensive rebounds. Uh, you're going to allow them to get out on the break, you know, so uh, we got to be sharper. Um, we got to continue to get better. You know, it's only worth one. Uh, we'll, we'll watch the film and learn from it. Move on. Next question. We'll go to AJ Condon. Hey, Coach, uh, you talked about Kofi and um, his play tonight. Uh, you only have a few games before – or you only have one game before you're going to see Luka Garza in Iowa. How are you going to be able to prepare for um, him? Oh, uh, we're, we're just going to focus on this 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 game. You know, we got a day off tomorrow. We'll watch this. We'll get better from it. Um, and then we got, a, we got a terrific opponent on Sunday in St. Louis. I mean, that's team picked to win the Atlantic 10. So, um, Iowa's not even on our radar right now. Uh, Sam Ekstrom, over to you now. Hey, Coach, why do you think Booth had a tough time kind of getting going tonight? I don't know. You know, he's a really good player, and it just seemed like it was snowballing a little bit, missed a couple layups at the basket. Uh, it was just one of those nights for him. You know, he's a terrific player. Uh, I have no doubt he'll bounce back and be fine. Andy, back to you. In between this game and previous games that Liam has gotten into foul trouble, have you seen signs that he's rectifying that, that problem that he's had at times? He's never gone against a guy like Kofi in his life. Um, not many have, you know. So, I mean, he's transferring up from the Missouri Valley. I don't think they have guys his size at that level, and they don't have many guys that size at our level. Um, I think a lot of the credit, you know, belongs to Kofi. Like I said, I mean, part of – what you have to do is put pressure on him when he's on defense, and we weren't able to do that. Next, we will go back to Marcus Fuller. Coach, you know, last year with Daniel, uh, when your guards weren't scoring much, you would get, get easy baskets from him. You know, how do you just get more of those paint touches um, even when your guards aren't shooting the ball well? Yeah, I mean, we got we to gotta work on it. Um, we got to establish that low post presence. Brandon was able to give us something, um, you know, it's, it's, it's obviously we're better when Liam is on the court, um, but you know, he's going to get in foul trouble, uh, you know, and it, it's, we got to work on his technique uh, as well as continue to develop those other guys, because we can't rely all on three point shots all the time. Uh, we got to continue to get to the foul line, which I thought we did a decent job of, but we missed 12 of them. Uh, we, we're one of the better teams at getting the foul line in the Big Ten. So that'll be an emphasis putting foul pressure on them. But, yeah, we've got to be able to post up. Uh, we posted up our guards a little bit more this um, go around than we've done in the past. I like to look at that. So we'll continue to work on it. Next question goes to Jeff Wall. Coach, you said it's only just, you know, it's just one game. Is that kind of your overall message to the team after, you know, after Illinois kind of ran away with it there in the second half? They, you know, especially That's it. Stay, stay positive, stay connected. Um, you know, all of us got to do better. You know, I mean, the, the, the beauty of playing in a pandemic is you keep your circle very, very tight. There's nobody on the outside that's really in there. So, the, you know, our little tier one group of 25 or whatever, and that's everybody, coaches included, we got to do better. And uh, we'll continue to move forward, stay positive, um, you know, continue to, to, to work 
Put in the work. That's what unites a team, and we'll do that. All right, Coach, thank you for your time. Thank you. Uh, next up, everyone, we'll get over to the players. We'll have Marcus Carr and Gabe Kausher. Thank you, everyone. All right, we will get right into questions for Marcus Carr here as soon as I receive a request in the chat. Thank you, everyone. Sam Ekstrom, start us off, please. Hey, Marcus, uh, I know it was tough to score in the paint tonight. You know, how did uh, Coburn's presence down low just affect any time you tried to drive to the rim? Um, yeah, he's a, he's a big body. Um, he's definitely a big body down there, but um, we just weren't finishing, honestly. Next, we will go to Marcus Fuller. Marcus, uh, you know, when Liam gets into foul trouble, obviously you guys um, have to still have an inside presence. Um, what can you just tell him to try to keep his confidence going so that he can be on the floor with you when you, when you need him in these big games? Yeah, his 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 confidence fine, really. Um, it's not really a confidence thing. It's just you know, um, sometimes when you're on the road, stuff doesn't go your way, or you know, you just pick up a few a few quick ones in the beginning that you know you maybe want to take back. So um, it's just about you know being smarter. Andy Greeter, over to you. Marcus, what do you attribute the the drought to for most of the? latter part of the second half was it was it bad shots just not going in how'd you feel about that uh yeah I felt like you know for a certain portion of the second half we were still getting to the rim just not finishing and then we were kind of you know taking a bunch of outside shots and that was allowing them to you know get out on the break and stuff like that so um you know, we just got to do a better job of executing finishing at the rim Give it a couple seconds to see if another question trickles in. Sam Ekstrom can take the next one. Marcus, uh, with, with you being a returning player on this team, you know, what, what, what do you think your job is, I guess, in the next few days, just to get everybody kind of back on track? Uh, yeah, just letting the guys who haven't necessarily been through this before, just let them know that, hey, you know, it's our first loss of the season. Um, but it's our first loss of the season. It's just one. It's worth one. Um, we kind of can't let it carry over. We have to have a short-term memory, kind of next play mentality, go out, uh, have our day off, get back to practice, get better, and make sure we're ready for our next game. Marcus Fuller, over to you now. And when you see the stretch 
that you guys have, uh, there's obviously a, um, you know, a lot more opportunities uh, to prove you got yourself moving forward in the Big Ten. Um, can you just talk about, I know you're, you're focusing on St. Louis, but another opportunity uh, versus Iowa right away. Um, yeah, as you know, playing the best league in college basketball. So night in and night out, we're going to have tough opponents. Um, you know, we're going to prepare like we always do and, and be up for the challenge. All right, last two questions. We'll go to Rob McCauley and Andy Greeter. Rob, you can start us off. Thanks. Hey, Marcus, could you talk about uh, the Illinois guards and what sort of uh, what sort of problems they caused you? Um, they have a lot of quick guards who are able to attack. Um, honestly, it was really Kofi that gave us the most problems. I mean, would you would you say? Uh, Defensively, Ayo Desumu is, where does he rank trying to defend him as a, as a distributor as well as an offensive player among league guards? Um, obviously, you know, he's a great player, one of the best players in our league. That's all I got. Thank you. And last question goes to Andy Greeter. Marcus, you've been through the, the Big Ten season a few times now, going through your second. Is Illinois the, the best team in this league that you've seen so far? Um, I mean, it's our first game. Um, obviously, there's been a couple of league games that we've been able to watch, but you know, for sure, um, they're one of the most talented teams in our league, and of course, they're going to be sitting at the top of the league as of right now. And you know, as long as they can play how they play, they'll pretty much stay there. Marcus, thank you for your time. We will wrap it up in just a few moments here with Gabe Kausher. Thank you, everyone. There we go. All right, we will get right into questions for Gabe Kausher. Please message me in the chat if you would like to ask Gabe a question. Thank you. Sam Ekstrom, start us off. Hey Gabe, during that, uh, that stretch in the first half where the eight point lead turned to a 13 point deficit, what do you think the, the biggest issue was offensively during that stretch? Um, I think it was just, uh, we weren't, first of all, we weren't hitting shots, um, which is tough on the road. I'm not hitting shots. I'm not letting them fall, but I mean, that's going to happen um, you're at home or on the road. But uh, I feel like our offense was just a little stagnant. Um, we, we, weren't, we weren't flowing as much, um, get it down to the post. I mean, it kind of hurt when uh, Liam had his, uh, had his two fouls right away, which uh, hurt us not having a big presence there. But um, you have to say our offense was a little um, stagnant and not, not as, uh, not, not flowing enough. Andy Grader, over to you. Gabe, you've been through this conference a few times and, and seen the quality of it. Where is this Illinois team compared to the teams you've seen throughout the league in your first two years? Um, I mean, they're up there. I mean, they got a lot of talent. Um, they play well with each other. Uh, but I mean, we've 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 been coming through. We come a long way. Um, we played a lot of uh, good teams over the years. I mean, I've played a lot of good teams over the years. 
And um, this season, this season, um, this con uh, this conference is full of great teams. I mean, us included. I mean, we're a great team. Um, there's a lot of great teams throughout this conference. So I mean, every night's gonna be a battle. Next, we will go to Marcus Fuller. Gabe, you guys started off with the eight point lead during that stretch. What do you think uh, was the key? Um, you know, obviously Liam hit a couple threes helps, but what do you think was the key there? Uh, I think we were attacking well, um, finding openings <clears throat> throughout the throughout their defense, uh, attacking, uh, taking taking good shots, um, not not taking uh, rush shots, which which led them to uh, to transition, which we kind of uh, did, and um, and then they got through their they got to their uh, transition um, after I think the second media timeout. So uh, that's what uh, that hurt us a little bit. <clears throat> Next question, we'll go to Rob McCauley. Hey Gabe, yesterday your coach said that he hadn't been on a plane in nine months. Um, uh, obviously, you guys are accustomed to, to traveling frequently, um, but was it difficult to adjust because this is the first time you've been out of town in, in a long time? Uh, no, I don't think so. I mean, I mean, it was kind of like uh, AU with the uh, like traveling um, hotel. Uh, I mean, food was a little weird. <clears throat> we had to uh, take it up to our rooms and stuff like that. Um, no fans. It's kind of like AU. So, I mean, not really. Uh, I mean, we're, I mean, we're all, we're all together. We're a family, so um, we just kind of uh, bonded together throughout this uh, trip. And because I'm an outsider, I, you know, I cover Atlanta basketball. Uh, how do you think you guys, with all the new new players, have uh, sort of cohered as a single unit over the time you've been together? I think we've um, done uh, done a good job with um, accepting everybody. I mean, not accepting everybody, but um, um, putting everybody in uh, to the to the system of our of our team. Um, I mean, our, our transfers, um, they, help, they help us a lot. Our freshmen help us a lot. Uh, we have a lot of good players that, um, that, wanna, that wanna get better um, and wanna help us win. Um, and that's, that's good for our team. Okay, thank you very much. And last two questions, we'll go to Jeff Wald and Marcus Fuller. Jeff, start us off, please. Gabe, uh, it's only one loss, it's your first loss of the season, but uh, when, when they kind of run away with it like that in the second half, what do you do moving forward to keep the confidence up to, you know, face a tough St. Louis team and then get back into Big Ten play? I mean, like you said, it's one loss. Um, you can't, can't, uh, can't uh, let it <clears throat> dwell on us too hard. Um, I mean, for us, uh, I mean, it, this is a Big Ten, Big Ten league. Uh, there's going to be I mean, games that that, that don't go our way, games that do go our way. So it's just we just have to we just have to roll with the punches, um, and just get ready for for the for the game coming up and, and learn from what we what we didn't execute from this game. And last question will go to Marcus Fuller. I mean, last year when you guys weren't shooting the ball well from the outside, you could go into Daniel. So moving forward, you know when Liam is in there in the game, how important is it for you guys to establish that scoring inside and then getting those paint touches even as uh, the guards as well? Yeah, it's important. I mean, Liam's a big presence. Um, he helps us a lot when he's on the court. Um, we in foul trouble this game. Uh, I heard us. Uh, but um, yeah, looking down low, um, I mean, uh, the defense will collapse when he when he gets a roll and that'll free up on um, our side shooting. But um, also we, we as guards need to uh, <clears throat> attack as well um, and get in the paint. Uh, if that's, that collapse, um, kick out to an open shooter and just, just have our offense flow. And that's what I think tonight we uh, kind of struggle with uh, getting to the in the lane, trying to make a physical play, and then kicking it out and finding an open player. Gabe, thank you for your time. Thank you. Everyone else, thank you for your time. Have a great night.